Yeah, those are not the right ones. Oops. That point's hot. There we go. We go back out. So let me see again. See? It's sticking. It's sticking down there where these things are. But this up here is not. So let me take one off. Yeah, they're marked. You can see the 925 right there. Or can you? Come on. Okay, now. I'm going to look at it through a hoop. Does say 925. But they are magnetic as can be. So, I don't think they're 925. They're marked. They would have to be definitely be tested. I'm just not convinced. Anyway, it's back on the card. Cute little earrings. And then we have this last pair. Here. That's this side. There's a Mark 925. We're going to see. Look at there. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Yep. Maybe they had a 925 wash. I mean, you have a silver wash on them, but they are not silver. That is very disappointing. It's got 925 and it's got S-U-T-H. S-U and then Thailand. I think the T-H is for Thailand. I don't know what S-U is, the maker. The manufacturer of it. The buyer of it. Or oh, they're not getting their money's worth. So... That lot was a little disappointing. I think the only two real silver pieces, and thank goodness it's these two because they have the opals and the ruby and then the moonstone on the other one, are these two. Oh, and these little ones too were not magnetic and they're Mark 925. But to be on the safe side, I would be testing all of those. That was that lot.
And like I said, that was lot was twenty eight dollars and forty five cents. I should be able to make my money back on that. We're gonna stop and let me clean up, and we'll open another one. Okay, guys, the next one came in May, and it's from um, Goodwill Industries of South Texas. Came in this box. And filming and I'm taking my time aren't I? I'm very sorry. Get lost in my thoughts sometimes. This was a fabulous lot of assist assorted 925 jewelry. So and the total on it was $39.23 which included $6 in shipping and $2 in handling. So yeah the shipping and handling was kind of high. It just depends on who you're buying from and what type of lots you're buying and you have to take all that into consideration. So whenever you're bidding on those, make sure that you check the estimated shipping before you put that bid in so you really know how much you're paying or willing to pay. This is a real dainty, pretty little necklace. Looks like multiple infinities joined together on a very fine chain. I like these kind of necklaces. I don't know if it's marked. Let's see if I can put it up. Yes, it's marked. Let me get it in focus again, guys. Don't move, Robin, don't breathe. I think the 925 is there. I will check it with my loop. Well, it's not easy to see. Okay, now I see it. Yeah, it's 925. That's where it was, where I showed you. So that's sterling, we hope. We'll do the magnet test. Yeah, it's not picking it up. And you can't see that, can you? Go back out. Now you can see what I'm doing. See, it's not magnetic. Yay. Very dainty, everyday necklace. Sometimes an understated is very elegant. And then we have this lot. And we have this cross. These stones are CZ because I've already tested them. The bell is marked 925. I don't know if the cross is marked anywhere, just the bell is. The 
can see it. It's not right there on the bell. Right there. We will see it's not magnetic. In fact, I'm going to go through the whole lot here and just see if I can pick up anything. Aha! Ta da! I picked up the spring ring where the wire is run through there to help it do the spring. The spring and the spring ring is not silver. But the rest of the necklace is, as you can see, and the other, I can't pick up anything else. Okay, so that's a good sign. Well, I just love the curveballs life throws at you. Our AC upstairs has quit working, but on the bright side, it's not 100 degrees outside, so I'm very grateful for that. So we've already called somebody. Hopefully they'll be able to come within the next day or two. Next piece I had was this cross, and it's baguette set. And then you've got the um, just the smooth silver here in the middle. There's the back. Mark 925 on the back, I believe. Now that says 89. No, it says 8. And then it's got 925. What is that? Okay, here we go, here we go. 8, 9, 8, 2, see that 925? I promise you that 925 is there. 9, 2, that's either an 8 or a B. And then it's got the 9, 2, 5. But it's on the curve and the shadow's not letting me show you. A shadow. See it? So, uh, we have a blow up bed. Our bedroom's upstairs, unfortunately. And we have a blow up bed downstairs in the living room. And we will probably blow it up and set it up if it gets too hot to where we can't stand it. So the next piece, these are precious. These are little butterfly earrings. And those are CZs and little glass um, rhinestones, little crystals. And the wings have baguette set um, crystals in them. Aren't those precious? And the stones are blue and their little post. And then we have these hoops, very pretty hoops. Nice filigree design in there, cutout design. Nice size. There's the backs. So you look good coming and going, coming and going, especially if you have short hair. And the next set are these. And I don't know if those are, got, let's see, I need to look out through the loop. Yeah, 
Again, these are those um, type of sterling silk, this cut in here of these beads where they're made to sparkle like diamonds. But it's real pretty. And the back is smooth. So you still look good coming and going. Coming and going. And then these are precious. They are French wire little medallions with a little tiny heart. Kind of reminds me of Red Cross, almost. A little pearl up here. They're marked on the back. Let's see if I can hold them so that you can see it. See the 925 is right there. They also have another marking in front of the 925 it says. Oh, these are Avon. Avon 925RJ. So this little part right here is Avon 925 and then your RJ. Very pretty. Like I said, Avon always made really nice jewelry. And I believe that was it. Did I show you guys this one? I don't think I did. It's got a lot of filigree and stone crystals in there. I believe those are crystals. I don't know if I tested them or not. There's the back. And it's Mark 925. Hopefully you can see it right here, 925, China, 925. China. That's the other side. Give you a closer look at the stones in there. We can test them if y'all would like. Let me to test that one. it where you guys can see it okay the diamonds way over here so it's got to go in this dark gray part and I'm gonna hit the center stone because it's the biggest and see it just moves to glass so these are little CZ's in here hit the metal. That's why it went zonkers. Ah. The little stones are hard to get to. Let's see if I can get to it this time. Yeah, see, it's just glass. But unless you tell somebody, they're not going to know. Because they look, look like diamonds. They sparkle. Have a really nice sparkle to them. That's a real pretty cross necklace. So guys, I set a lot. Again, that was from um, South Texas. And the total cost was I think I can get my money back on that. I would like to make a little bit more money than just get my money back though, because you got to pay for shipping and handling and all the things you do and the time you spend to list or show them or whatever. It's a lot of work. A lot of work. But I do it more out of the joy. And what I can't get my money back on, if it's nice, I will uh, also, some of this will go for gifts. Did I get everything? 
think I did. Okay, we're going to open up another one. Okay, guys, the next one we're going to open is from Goodwill Easter Sales, Minnesota. I think it's Minnesota. Yeah. And looking to get it open. Let me move this to the side. Back over here. This comes with a little package, a little, the receipts on the front. This lot is a sterling silver 925 silver jewelry collection, and it was a very big bag. It was 197 grams. So, let's see if it was worth what I paid for. Okay. They like their tape. I'm going to start buying stock and tape with all the tape they use. Caught it on here, 95 Silver Jewelry Collection. 95 tested, condition sum. Some, some tarnishing probably, I don't know. I don't know what sum means. Oh, look at this, the way they did that so they wouldn't tangle up. So that's nice. I've done that with some of mine when I go to store them. See now if I can grab them right. Who's on top? I really can't tell. This one seems to be. Oh my. Maybe this doesn't work. See what I can do here. Just really don't want to make it any worse. So we'll try to get this a little looser here. Okay, let's see if I can grab this one from the crowd and not break everything in the process. Mama Mia. You have to have the patience of Job when you're working with dainty chains. Well, I got it. So this one, this is exactly why I bought this set. Now I remember why. And why I was willing to pay up for it. It's sterling silver on a spring ring clasp. There's a chain. And that says, Maddie. 
So that's going to my granddaughter, Maddie. That's exactly why I bought this. Let's see, who's on second? Who's next? Who can I gently remove without causing a commotion here? Now when I pack mine, like I said, I do mine like they did there, but I put them in individual little bags and do that. I don't do a group of them and do that. So I can see the group part doesn't work because these are a bit, a little bit tangled up. And I don't know if I'm not making it worse by Oh, here, I got this one out. This one says Sterling on it. It says number one, Mom. Here's the front. And the back, it says it's Sterling. Clearly marked on a pretty little gold chain. And I don't see any markings on the chain. No, and the chain's got a knot in it. I'll have to get out after the show. Yeah, let's see. But it's not magnetic. So I wonder what the chain is. Is it gold? Or is it sterling? I said I don't see. Yeah, I see a mark. Or I see something. It says S slash S. So is that sterling silver? And above that it has a mark. It's um, one, two, three. What is a six-sided form? What's it called? It's not a hexagon. I can't remember. But in, within that six-sided form, it's got some initials in it. It's got a It's like an N slash C. I don't know what that is either. Anyway, I'll have to test this, this necklace to see what that is. So that's that one. So we have Maddie and we have number one mom. My oldest son is single. He has the three oldest of my grandchildren. And then my youngest son has the other five grandchildren. And my oldest granddaughter has my grandson, my great grandson, Easton. Come on. Let's not tangle everything up. Let's just unlatch and pull, pull through, there you go. This is also a gold tone chain. It's got a spring ring clasp. got a marking here and a marking over there. Let's see if we can read anything. No. 
you get it in focus again. Oh shoot, I got it on the wrong side. That says 925 Italy. And that says 925 Italy on both sides of that chain. So it's a rope chain, twisted rope, diamond cutting. See the sparkling? And then you have your beaded stations. And again, your twisted rope with the diamond stations and then the beads and then it ends like that. It's a pretty little necklace, very dainty. Not too dainty though, it's got some good show to it. Now let's see what I can pull out. Not that one. What's that one going to? Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to go offline and untangle these. They're still tangled. Okay, guys, we have 16 necklaces, and I did undo them. And we looked at these three here, and the next one was this locket. It's got a little stone in the middle, I believe. Let's see if it's there. There's a little stone in there. I don't know what it is. This is a little heart locket and it does open. It's marked 925 on the inside. There's the back on this chain with a spring ring clasp. I counted 16 necklaces we have here and this chain is also marked 925. I don't know if it's very tiny. I don't know that you can read it. Here's the Italy. And then there's the 925. I said it's tiny and I don't know if you can read it. Why is my hand casting a shadow?